Welcome to our house. I'm Rosie Cronin. Hi, I'm Mike Cronin, and if you like desserts like someone I know, then listen closely. Today we're making a chocolate trifle. Um, very easy to do. The day before you're going to make your chocolate cake, according to directions, we've made a gluten-free one. And you're also going to make your pudding. You're going to use two boxes, which is gluten-free also. Make that the day before. When you're ready to layer it, you're going to layer a third of your chocolate cake in your truffle bowl. And once you have that in there, you're going to put a third of the chocolate pudding on top. And a third of the Cool Whip. I'll spread this out a little bit. And then on top of that, we're going to throw some Heath Bars, crumbled up. More chocolate cake. Followed by the pudding again. Pudding. And get your Cool Whip on top of that. Oh, you don't want to break that. Spread that out. And we're going to put Heath Bars on top of this and get ready for our last layers. One more layer. cake. This dessert goes fast, especially in the summertime, but you can eat it all year. It's a crowd pleaser. People love it and they think you've been slaving for days making it. Ready? Pudding. Cool whip. Put your heath bars. We're going to put a little bit more Cool Whip on top of this and add some raspberries on top. That's it. Tastes like Plenty. You can always add more if you'd like. Now, to pair this, let's face it, wine and chocolate, two aphrod aphrodisiacs. Um, I think the darker the chocolate, the more full-bodied the wine. So for this, I'm going to recommend a Pinot Noir or a nice medium Malbec. So have your wine, have your chocolate, and see what happens. Enjoy.